Okay guys, so out there is Santiago, a tiny little town on the southern part of Baja Sur State here on Baja California Peninsula and we left Cabo San Lucas and the crazy tourist scene there to see more of Baja. I was actually up in this uh, area and showed the little town of Santiago in a previous video. That was like a week or 10 days ago or something. But we're back here and going to go to the swimming spot that I mentioned that I was trying to get to and then it got too late in the day. It is out this road here. That is my rental car, the blue one. Anna is in there. And so we're just on a uh, Mexican road trip. So uh, going to get going, head up this uh, dirt road here and go see what this uh, nice looking uh, Canyon de Zaya, I think it's called, is all about. That's it, Reserva Natural. So this is Canyon de Zora. Am I saying that right? Yes. And behind the camera here. Hi. Anna from Guanajuato. Yes, from Guanajuato. And uh, last of my videos from uh, Cancun and Playa del Carmen. Come on, yes. And Zacatecas. And Zacatecas, yes. And uh, you can see the sign there. So it says Ecologic Ranch. Ecological Ranch. Cool. It's like yes, an eco, on, yes. eco ranch. Yes. Sol de Mayo. Yes. What is Mayo? Sol is May Mayo is May. The oh, mud, okay. and you can see the animals. There is kind of farm animals, the goats, and look this, this one, this, this cactus because we made things with the things that are all in the upper part. I guess this one is called bisnaga. Is this the fruit mm, that yeah. you can make? Oh, no, it's another. With? Yes, this is bisnaga, and also there are the pitaya, and also there are the tunas. And so you can make a drink with it, and you can eat it Sugar. also. Yes, and also they make like jam with that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So now we have to walk somewhere to get to the real thing that we're getting to, the swimming hole. And here is some sort of a uh, restaurant. Should we go say hi to the uh, burritos? The burro and the burrito? Burritos This is our, our kind of um, Christmas song. Oh, and it's a burrito song? Yeah, El Burrito Sabanero. Okay. Because he's going to go to Valen. To where? Valen? Valen. Look, this is a, a Charles Quinkle. Oh, yeah, a hairless dog. Uh, look, there is a Charles Quinkle that was all the original Mexican dog. It's a hairless dog. Yeah. The Mexicas has a lot of um, legends about him. But, by example, in Coco, they are the one that will take you to the to the path, to the heaven, and, when, and, and come back. Oh, really? They're like a mythical yes, yes. dog with like and magic. And they are supposed to be delicious. Oh. For that, they are extinct. <laughs> really? That's the reason why there's not many? Yes. Because people would eat it in Mexico? Yes. Oh. Supposed to be delicious. But even now, or...? No, no, I got Yeah, okay. Know. In the old days. Can imagine the Mexicans, the, the people use it to eat the heart of the enemies. Yeah. What kind of dog is this? Do you know? Yeah, uh, this is a, I don't know, a Belg. A Belg. Yeah. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Burro and burrito. Burrito Hey, buddy. Nice guy. Looks like he wants to get out and go explore beyond this silly fence, huh? Hopefully, you get your chance sometimes. They'll let you out, take you for a walk. All right, speaking of walk, yeah. let's do it. Mm. And then, I, where, where do we pay? Oh, uh, here. When we're done yeah, registering, we whatever? Register, exactly. Okay, thank you very much. ¿Te atreverías a comerte un bistec de oso? ¿No es ser parecida a la de venado, no? Sí, es así, un poco más. Tal vez son más grandes, que son más grandes. Yo les decía, ¿por qué se comen a Rodolfo? Qué bien. Pues disfrútenla, chicas. A las seis cerramos. Okay. We close at six. Okay. So, is this a restaurant here? 
it was, uh, but we will be open probably next year. I see. Mm -hmm. Great. How long is the walk to the springs? 10, 20 minutes. Great. According. Uh, depending depend on your pace, yeah, mm -hmm. not so far. <laughs> See, but there is only one road, you cross the fence yeah. and you start going down or if you want to walk along the river up, you go Ooh. up. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. This or place is so beautifully the, landscaped. Uh, oh, gracias. It's very nice. Sí, tratamos de preservar el desierto. It's Perfect. natural uh, plants of the area or some? Most, most of them are most natural them. plants, yeah. Okay. We, don't, we try not to import some, but yeah, there is no purity. Yeah. anywhere in the planet. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> no. And it's very beautiful. So. Muchas gracias. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Bienvenidas. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Okay, water test. How okay. cold is it? How does it look? Compared to ice. Okay. Not so bad? Warmer than ice? Warmer than ice, that's great news. It's definitely kind of cold, but not, you know. Nice. It's warmer than like creeks in California and the Sierra Mountains or something. It's not crazy cold, but uh, it's not a hot tub either. Beyond? This is gonna be refreshing. Yeah. It's cold I water. I get in deeper. Gotta get to the waterfall though. Okay, you can look at the camera. Hi. <laughs> Beautiful dog in the world. <laughs> What's it called in Spanish? Cholos Ah, that's a hard word. Cholos Quinque. Yeah, Cholos Quinque. Col Cholos Quinque. Yeah, and it's spelled X O L O E X E S C U I N C L. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Cholos Quinque. So we're both curious what this uh, Baños is like. 
Let's check it out. Maybe somebody's in there and they're like, <laughs> who are these people talking? It's actually a toilet. Okay. It's like an outhouse style. Yeah. I grew up with like a bathrooms like this, yeah. Okay. In the woods. It's a latrina. Yeah. Okay. It is not connected to the pipes. It's only a hole. Yeah, like latrine. Salatrina. Yeah, yes. Like I we guess. say latrine. Yeah. And out, outhouse. Mm. Back at the farm, we got some, I guess, geese. And I just saw a rabbit. I'm gonna see if I can see it again. There it is. Check it out. There we go. Furry rabbit action. Now that's definitely a geese, or a goose, but those ducks or geese, not sure. Do you live here most of the year, like throughout the year, or sí, it's your house and <laughs> very cool, sí. great place. Sí. <laughs> Thank you so much. Had a nice time. <laughs> yes, the water is very cold. Yeah. On the hot, hot day, it would be perfect. Today, yeah. it was it was so refreshing. It was very nice, but I couldn't stand so long. I know. Yeah. And also the wind. Yeah, exactly. The, wind, the clouds so coming and the wind, yeah. but uh, such a cool place. Gracias. Right on. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Hey there, good afternoon. This is Cabo Polmo, a very uh, rustic, dusty, not even a town, really, little kind of a uh, village here. The sea is right over there. Cabo San Lucas is not very far away. However, it is not so easy to get here. The road here you can see is dirt. And coming from Cabo San Lucas, it is dirt for a long, long ways, apparently. I didn't come from there. Anna is uh, kind of sleeping in the car there. We came down from the north. We are staying in Los Barriles. That's where we were the uh, past few nights, also uh, where we drove from yesterday to go out to the um, swimming uh, spot out there. It is just a hour or so north from here along the coast, a really uh, nice uh, spot. I showed it in a previous video. Great little uh, beach town, also kind of uh, quiet, not the typical you know, uh, Mexican uh, beach resort scene like Cabo San Lucas. And so it is kind of late in the afternoon here and my battery is going to die. I forgot to recharge it last night. And so I'm not gonna film a lot here, but just wanted to give a little taste of this very uh, unique, different side of the Mexican tourist scene. Tito's restaurant and bar, pretty cool spot here. Hello. Hola. Hola. Buenas tardes. So we're just gonna poke around and uh, get over to the uh, sea. Also it is windy and so not great for the uh, snorkeling that Cabo Pomo is normally uh, famous for. 
this would definitely be a good spot to stay for a little while, a few days or even a week or something if you're looking for just the absolute, you know, chillaxed away from the uh, craziness kind of an experience. You got the uh, mountains, I'm sure that there is hiking up there and the uh, sea here and not a lot of traffic, not a lot of, uh, you know, ambulances or stoplights or anything. Pretty cool scene. <laughs> Nice restaurant spot here. Let's see the sea. Some uh, choppy waters. National Park, Cabo Fumo. Lots of amazing uh, underwater adventures to be experienced. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait. Salud. 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 Alrighty. Looks great. Muchas gracias. Sí, sí, muy bien. Buen provecho. Muchas gracias. Sí, por favor. Provechito.